<laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. Robert Kelly sitting in for Bill Burr, who usually sits in for Jimmy Norton. <laughs> what a clusterfuck we got Christ. here, huh? We're on the third string. <laughs> we certainly are on the third string. <laughs> my God. Like the Jets over here. We started with David Lee Roth. We got to Sammy Hagar, and now we're down to Gary Sharon. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You call me Gary Sharon, you <laughs> fucking hardy boy asshole? Bobby's starting to look like a Chinese movie bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> he really is looking like Tora Tanaka right now. I'm going to take my hat off and oh, throw no. it at your neck. The toughest, <laughs> the invincible Chinese bodyguard. Go through Hazuki. You need a, you need a top hat. <laughs> oh, oh. Holy oh. shit. Patrice O'Neill oh. in studio. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of Peter Brady? Oh, he's Holy finished. Shit. God bless him. He's going to shoot himself uh, at, <laughs> at some point. He's going he's gonna to get in the middle like that tic-tac-toe box and just boom. Oh. do 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 <laughs> After that junkie gets finished with him. Oh. <laughs> That's the music that he, when he blows. Oh. He has he has absolutely no control in that relationship. It, it, absolutely you, no control. You can see the He's just evil waiting for her face. to shut yeah. down the pussy. You just it's just I hope he's had enough like of that old that sixties booty. When when did that show come out? Seventies? Mm-mm. Well, what, uh, I, just, he, yeah. I wish he's, he's. I wish. I think he had a, enough booty to, that, that you don't think he's gonna be that spellbound over her. Man. Oh, he probably got a lot in his day. Yeah, I'm so sure. It's just bringing back. It's like it brings back his old. Yeah. You know, when it's time to change. She's like five eleven. She was wearing heels, so she was like six one, six two. He's he's a, he's maybe mm. five four. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, I'd like five, to talk four. to you about something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's the end. It's over, Chris. Uh, I'll let you glance up at me and your family for a while. I'll stay in this square. You can just be over there looking over at me for the last time before I tip my hat and get the fuck out of your life. Dude, that, is the, that is the best organ ever. Just over. Uh, I just... <laughs> I just wish I didn't see her face. I just, if I just saw a body, I'd be like, wow, you know. But I saw a face. You and saw that the just, yeah, that right? Just is just evil. He's pure. He's praying that VH1 picks up a second season so he can continue the relationship. <laughs> oh, she's built like a heroin needle. She just <laughs> <laughs> oh, long needle neck. She that is just some high is. maintenance. Ooh. That is some high maintenance on God, that one. Thank you for not having me in here so I could piss You're, off the Hollywood manager that was out there. Oh, is that what you were doing? Oh, uh, yeah, sh- Schmecky McGillicuddy. <laughs> and then Anthony got a baseball thrown on his head. Yeah, yeah I started oh, singing. I saw you when you were doing I started singing one of the old songs. And he finally had it. I think uh, too many Brady references in his life <laughs> where he just doesn't want to hear them anymore. It's very, you know something, there are barely any Peter-oriented episodes. So I really had to dig deep, God damn it! Well, you should have appreciated job. that. The one with his bad voice was like that was, that one, was of one of the, the most famous. Ones. Yeah, the, hunky, yeah. The, the, the other that one, the uh, Marsha on oh my nose, and huge the pork one. Chops and apple pork chops and apple sauce, a big catchphrase. Yeah. And Phil Packer when he dressed yeah. like Phil Packer with sure. the mustache and went out with his brother as the older uh, date. Oh, what about the, the one where he changed oh, as a vampire back into the other costume? Those nah, that's not real. Where he's running back and forth. The tiki, the tiki, the tiki is a big one. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot to play that while he's here. Damn it! That's that's what oh, a pussy sounds oh. like when you go down there. <laughs> I, I would have gotten, gotten the ball thrown at me again. Remember he's on surreal life. Yeah. I, I saw it. The dude is built like a. <clears throat> not anymore though. He's, he's getting a little <laughs> doughy. No. He's she even said a little doughy. She said he's getting a little doughy. Yeah. Oh. Well, now he's got that, so he doesn't have to work for it. Yeah. Yeah. But well, he's, no, he's it's not even about that. He's he's like he he doesn't trust her to leave her alone for a second so he could go to go to the gym for a little bit. Yeah, he, he's, he you think he's just eyeballing her oh, every second every of the day? He should learn how to shut day. himself down on that one there, man. He should just, yeah. he should seriously try to learn. That's what I do with my girl. My girl is completely out of my league. I treat her like shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you wean yourself off of her you, so you just, just in case you she ditches you, you're fine? mentally abuse them enough where they, just, they start to believe you're sexy. And they start to believe that you'll get somebody just like them. Yeah? You that how it works? To, you have to, man. By the way, I'm a mess. <laughs> By the way, Patrice, but she thinks you're the the shit. She she loves me, yeah. man, because you know she loves me. 
When did you uh, start following the Seattle Supersonics? <laughs> oh, you stop playing. Stop <laughs> acting like you don't know who black people are. <laughs> <laughs> if you see the hat matching the thing, it's just colors, man. It's a nice it's color. Like it's Sonic. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the team. I wear so. the Iraqi soccer team colors if they were, came in black and orange. <laughs> 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 How niggas do, man. We just my hat's green. Once you see my hat's green, it's like, oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Bobby got a baseball fan's hat on, the one that's curled and yeah, yeah, white guy fan. You know what I mean? Well, what's up with the the flat brim? I really don't know what that's about. It's just not that. Like <laughs> white guys have to do yeah, the you look. You curl. see, Anthony, it's, it's, it's just, just curl white it. guys curl and the and, and the black guy. Yeah, this is black guys gotta do the, the shit different. <laughs> just gotta no, do. They want the hat. Mm-hmm. They want the hat mm-hmm. like it's never been touched. They this, just bought it. Yeah, this Here's hat is. They leave the stickers on. They I don't leave the, the tag sticker on. stuff on. They no, actually, they leave the stickers. They actually carry the bag around with them. The tag. The when they go inside, really? they put it back in the bag. Absolutely. See, we got pickup truck, and that's escalated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all pickup truck. They're our, gonna wear that. The, they're gonna wear a hat to the Grammys. That's why they try to yeah, make yeah. it look brand new. Stop trying to make black people uncool. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, black people are cool. I mean, we'll give that. And let me just say to you guys, I. I appreciate yeah. you still giving our little crew airtime because <laughs> we are completely finished. <laughs> that, that whole Colin Quinn experiment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Colin, I think, is still, he works hard. Me, Keith, uh, Bobby, thank, thank you for very much for putting Bobby on something. God bless you. Um, <laughs> who else was in our little crew? Norton. Yeah, Norton. Norton's Jimmy. A, a psychotic. He's, he, he's not going to be able to even function in L.A., why people think Billy Burr is better than him on the radio. He's been going inside. I don't know if you've gotten emails. <laughs> he called me. Norton never calls me. I was in L.A. He's and called LA everybody. Lonely. I yeah. guess he called everyone this week. And it's he left like, a message like, I didn't even call me, man. I, we don't I even same, talk. Yeah. I got the same Here's one. Jimmy. Uh, guys, <laughs> I, I think it's over. I think it's over. They like Billy better than me. It's like when Oliver came on the Brady Bunch. Feeling like when little Oliver came on. I'm not, I'm not young and cute anymore. <laughs> I got a million dollar. I got a million dollar house. He's losing his fucking mind. I got a million dollar house. I hope he dies and gets AIDS. Oh God, he's Fellas, losing his mind. Please have a contest. The vote cancer in your ass. ass. I would do, like to see nothing more than Jim Norton lose his job on the radio. Oh, just to watch him dunk his head in the toilet. He'll try to create a way to kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little head in the toilet bowl. We should really fuck up his whole HBO gig by uh, having a poll on the website. Should we keep Jimmy? Oh. <laughs> could you? Could you? Oh, man. Jimmy Norton, could Bill you? Barr. Who is better? Could you? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, could you please? Oh, so he can sit in the sun and dry up like a snail and die? <laughs> Oh, that poor little guy. He would follow the progress of that every... Se- he, would, oh. he would stop sleeping. He when would this, stop sleeping. When this <laughs> idiot told me everybody loves Billy on the radio, I said, Norton is really okay. going to kill himself. You know something? You can't blame him. You, when you leave a position, especially temporarily, you're hoping the guy that replaces you Stinks. flops. Of Jimmy, you know, Jimmy loves us and the show and wants it to do well, but he wanted that guy that came in and sat in oh. his fucking seat to bomb and every day. Especially someone not like him. Right, right. Doing nothing like it. Billy's is about as corny as uh, iced tea with no sugar in it. And he comes in and they love him. <laughs> they love him. <laughs> love his dumb red face and his giant head because they can't see it. So, <laughs> <laughs> But we're all, I mean, we're all the same and insecure. There was a time. You want him to bomb. There was a time. Oh. I, there was a time I had strep throat, so Anthony did the show by himself. You think I was at home secretly hoping that he was going to do okay? Oh, Fuck and it was no, awful. Man. I was praying we, that he was going to fall on his do? face. Oh, horrid. Oh, you did. And, and I heard he was Mike a hit. Alone. You know when he hits <laughs> to Lance. Babylon without somebody to, like, uh, direct to steer the ship? Oh. It's like, all right, take out this luxury liner. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm going to leave the rudder here on the dock. Go. It's oh. our show, and I was at home it hoping hit. he was going to bomb. <laughs> when he went solo. Are you yeah. kidding me? It hit the streets, oh, Obi. Right. None of us streets sh- like crack Billy Burr's what? appearance on the show. It hit the streets. Cause I, you know, I sleep until four in the afternoon. Uh huh. People just like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> people love Billy Burr. They said nothing about that garbly mouth slug. Nothing. He really hit the street. They huh? like this at HBO. All right, cut. <clears throat> um, Martin. Oh, uh, 
He's like, sorry, Louie. Um, I just got a lot on my mind. I got a lot on my mind, right? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about a lot. They're yelling at the lighting guy. Is there anything you can do? Oh. Is there anything you can do? He's thinking about buying, <laughs> using his HBO money to buy a studio in L.A. to simulcast the kid. <laughs> He'll do it while he's filming his show. He just bought an antenna. And, <laughs> and cut. Check the gates. I'll be right back. Hey, fellas. How are you? Every time Jimmy hits his my to listen to the show, it's just Berg on. And it was a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just laughing their balls off. Ah, God damn it. Dude, 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 now you know Katrina. Dude. Food, food. <laughs> Comedy people. Ah, come on. Oh, my poor God. Jimmy's just sitting there. Oh, my God. Just oh. please, fellas, don't give him any. No security, because he... <laughs> Norton acts like a complete ass when he's comfortable. You should see him when he's uncomfortable. He, gets oh, a Brit he actually gets a British accent when he's... When he's it, Robert, would you like to go to lunch today? <laughs> it's Jimmy Norton. Dude, oh, you don't wow. say that in front wow, of people. Wow, wow, you don't wow. say that. That's inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> oh, that poor little fucker. So I'm so happy you gave him, like, you still giving guys that I know, like, because, no, uh, you know, Voss is completely... <laughs> you talk about stupid oh. Peter Brady. Rich Voss <laughs> is going to shoot it. He's going to stand out here in front of this window and go like this. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. He's going to stab him. You know what we call him now? Rich McFarlane. <laughs> Jesus. That's his new name. He's not Rich Voss anymore. Oh. He's Rich McFarlane. He called me and said, ah, uh, why didn't you bring me a, you know, you know he, I love you. you know, I'm like my, my best friend. You didn't bring me a, uh, you didn't bring me no gift for my oh, God, my reception, yeah. Yeah, I, and I go, I, I I was falling for it. He called me and Keith, right? Because we didn't bring nothing, and stupid brought a hundred dollars, but that's nothing either. So it's because <clears> I'm fucking. That is pretty cheap. Shut up, stupid. And you know your girl told you to bring it. Not, don't play me, Bobby. She got me the so, card. I told her to bring. The no, fuck you. She told me she got the card, and I was gonna gave the money. What happened? I was gonna of gonna course. Go do you do you hear that you just you just like said what I said? They, you she brought the card, and you go, dude. I said, put the, yes, you don't give Bobby. a card without money. I know. I said I'm going to give him money. He, Bobby tries to double talk. He tries to pimp not, his own friends all the time. I'm not trying to pimp anybody. Listen to this, though. Go ahead. He calls me, and he calls uh, Keith, right? Says, you know, I'm your friend, I'm your friend and da 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 So I, I'm falling for it. Keith's falling for it, too. And I go, wait a minute, boss. We're supposed to be these special friends. You didn't invite me to the wedding. You didn't invite me to the wedding. Oh, oh I don't want to bother you. I said, so why are you bothering me now? Black people. Why are you bothering me now about Canada. your dumb... Your, first of all, your dumb reception at Caroline's <laughs> with cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes. Cupcakes and salad. The cupcakes were really good. Bill said the uh, the red carpet was like a, a shower mat. Stuff. Like a real carpet. It was like a shower it was mat. A, it was the red rug affair. <laughs> yeah. well, are you, it was are you post wedding celebration at a comedy club here in New York. But he What's did. Wrong but with he. That? Uh, when did, like <laughs> we're, we're not like regular squares. Like we're not square people. Like for you to think that I'm having something that's like. This thing where you are being a regular person, I have to tell you 25 times. Like, hey, Opie, Anthony, Bobby, hey, man, this is RSVP. I, I, right. RSVP. I, I said I'm coming. That's why. That's why my RSVP. I ain't gonna be there. Yeah. You know, no one does that at RSVP. You know what I'm saying? So it's like don't. And and we had to call him Rich McFarlane because we know that is Bonnie doing that. Bonnie's taking over the Voss Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> and Voss is gonna end up having Voss another kid. You watch. He's gonna have a kid at like oh 52 God, years old. Because Bonnie's gonna have him do it. I'm telling you. But see. She's yep. probably pregnant already. She, oh, she no. came in I pregnant. I would make him go to Maury Povich. <laughs> fraternity I want to go on record and say that she's I got to take pregnant. a fraternity test. <laughs> fraternity. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, uh, people, you, you know he's mad you didn't come, too. He's mad everybody didn't come. You know something? Well, Dude, I, I called. I wasn't going to go to Caroline's. I, 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 when we got to wake up and come to uh, come here in the morning yeah. at, at this ungodly hour, <clears throat> it started, he didn't show up the next day. That's right. He was supposed to be on our show the next day. He start the reception started at nine thirty at night. We can't yeah. do that. Good. I hope you. What told was him I that. supposed to go there for ten minutes? I, I got to really, be in bed by ten ten. You know what I wish you guys would say? Just say we we're not coming, boss, because yeah. we don't feel like it. I'll rest VP. I don't know. <laughs> I called. I said uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Hey, we got to move on to something else because uh, they're reminding us to to ask you about the Foster thing. Oh, shit, Robert right. Kelly just kind of, out of nowhere, we've known the guy for years. He's a foster <laughs> Wait, child. You don't know this either? You know, he's in foster homes. 
Oh, Holmes, okay. Uh, I thought I thought he was adopting a foster child or something. Okay, yeah, I know Bobby. Oh my God! <laughs> he thought I was adopting a kid. Bobby's really the, one of the true white boys I know that has like he's like has problems. See, there's the thing about <laughs> I, I, it's really a, a philosophy I have about him and like um, certain white guys. Yeah. Okay. Certain white guys, because you know, if you're white in this world and you're not successful, it's it's a it's really suffering. It's a lot of suffering involved with not being a successful white guy. Yeah, it's expected <clears throat> when you're expected. Yeah. We're still talking about me, right? Yeah, you. So <laughs> there's some white boys who are really David Banner trying to be the Hulk, and there's some white boys who are the Hulk <laughs> trying to be David Banner. Right. And Bobby is the Hulk. <laughs> He's always angry, and he's always destructive, and he's always evil, but he tries to walk around with this phony, accepting smile of society. He doesn't realize people react to him like a nigga or a Puerto Rican. They don't. They don't. He's uncomfortable. Look at him. Look at him fidgeting. Oh. That background noise is him tapping the thing because Bobby tries to be this patient. He's an evil My dude. eyes are turning green right now. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's just like that. Don't like, make Bobby angry. Yeah. Like he's, 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 yeah. he's the color of the Sonics jersey. Yeah. <laughs> fit it no more, but after the show, he's going to come and go, dude, what was that? No, I'm not, dude. He's going to drill it. You said this to me a hundred times. He's, he's, he, until he accepts that he's not a true white guy, he's not accepted in the white community, <laughs> he will, he needs to stop. Look at Bobby. He's chubby, bald. He used to be sexy, like he used to be the sexy kid, but now he's, he's a professor to Tanaka, and he refuses <laughs> to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> so stop, stop trying to be a white boy, King Kong Bundy. And <laughs> so, so what's up with this Foster thing? We were talking about extreme home uh, makeover shows and stuff, and how that's really bad for the family because after the crews leave, these beautiful houses are now in the middle of the ghetto, and we're thinking, you know, the neighborhood swallows up these homes from the poor people. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I, he called me a fucking nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling you that for years, though, Bobby. I know, he, so we're hey, talking about this foster family or something, and out of nowhere he blurts out that he was a foster kid. Yeah, but everybody would, knows that, though. I didn't know that. Yeah, he didn't he know certainly that. didn't want to let us know that. I just after you go out of juvie hall, you go. They put you in foster homes, and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they're just the foster parents are awesome. Really, they they're fucking. They don't do it. Be, most of them do it for the money. They yeah. do it to get extra cash. Yeah, they do. They get literally. They, company, they, right? I had mac and cheese every day or peanut butter and jelly. It wasn't like I got dinner. That's what I had. They did it for the extra cash because they have other kids, but they don't want to work. What about the? Uh, uh, they have all these weird rules. Did you hear that institutionalized uh, speech right there? That poor guy. I love Bobby, man. So that was just pain. What about the love? Yeah. Was there any love going on? Where was on? the love? No. No. <laughs> no the guy would make this guy would make me go out. He I would have to wake up in the morning, and he would he would he was a security guard, just a fat bald redhead dude. He'd make me go out of the house in the morning, uh, in the winter, and just walk around because he liked to be home. <laughs> he liked to walk around in his underwear. Well, good so I'd walk around out. Lawrence, Mass, which is a, a, a dangerous neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, and I'd have to just walk around. No. Lawrence is dangerous. I didn't, the say Puerto Ricans. I, didn't, I just want to make Anthony know that this story is horseshit. But <laughs> it's not horseshit. I didn't, I didn't want to let the fans know that Lawrence right. is not it's tough. Not, I'm from your part of the just, you're country. You're from Boston. Roxbury, is yeah. the worst part of Boston. <laughs> but there are there's a middle ground between where you know between Roxbury and Newton. They had a, they had a riot <laughs> in fucking in uh, Lawrence. Yeah, it was some type of immigrant. Thing. It was it's nothing the, but Guatemalans. It's a Gua they it's have a Puerto Rican. Really? They have Guatemalan Puerto town or whatever. Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans. It's not Guatemalans. <laughs> Puerto Ricans. You fucking know <laughs> that. El Salvadorians. I think they got up there. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're conquistadors. <laughs> Bobby is Bobby is the meanest white boy I ever met because of that foster home thing. He's really, he's, yeah, you he think that's a lot did. of deep yeah. things going on, man. How long were you in foster care, though? Uh, like what age? Uh, from uh, twelve. Uh, People need this info for the photo They're going to do with you. Eleven to fifteen. Eleven to fifteen. And what happened uh, before eleven? <laughs> what? What happened before you were eleven? I had a family. I told you. Do you listen? Wait, you had a family. They gave I lived up with on my you parents, at eleven. Went to jail. When you get, you can't just go home after juvie jail. What do you, you do at eleven? eleven? What I do? Oliver Twist. You well, know what? You, you know, Holy listen, wait, fellas. I did a, Opie really is a white guy. He does a lot of uh, things that. When when somebody uh, or a criminal asks you what you, what what when he repeats your question, yeah, he does not want to share it. <laughs> uh, what I who'd I kill? Uh, <laughs> but, but then that's my job to keep pushing. 
if he wants cool. to come back to, uh, tomorrow, he'll why tell us what he said. What do you mean, why'd I rape her? What? what? Rape her? Yeah, why, why'd you rape her? Uh, why'd I rape her? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Did who did you rape? But I'll get to the bonus. You oh, watch. God, yeah. <laughs> right, right. What'd you do at 11? <laughs> What did I do at 11? I didn't say it. What did I do? <laughs> yeah. I didn't, what do you mean? Wait, what you I went do? to jail at 11? Uh, All right, Bob, what did they accuse oh, you of doing? They rough. accused me of unarmed robbery, assault and battery, malicious destruction, trespassing, and breaking Wait, wait, at, at 11? 11? Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah, but it wasn't all that, dude. I wasn't a, I wasn't a criminal. I wasn't a bad kid. Armed robbery, what was it? Unarmed. Oh, unarmed. unarmed. That's was... strong armed robbery. That's worse than armed robbery. Yeah. You understand that? Yeah, you we know yeah. all, the, all the goddamn... <laughs> you don't even need a weapon. Unarmed robbery. That's yeah. called strong <laughs> yeah. armed robbery Wait, without Jesus. a gun. So yeah. you're... I'm just letting <laughs> the fans know. <laughs> what are you doing? Who did you, who no. did you... <laughs> I'm just letting people know that that's worse. You called worse. me a fat chink. <laughs> you called me a nigger. And now I'm strong armed robbery. You can't just let me have some fucking slack. <laughs> who did you Who did you uh, muscle? Who did you muscle at 11? It was at... You know, the, the, what we did... It, it was... <laughs> Wait, you had a little gang at 11? Well, I hung out with kids. You know, hang out at a park or something with a bunch of... Th the Not strong-arming people. We went into a pizza store, and yeah. he went in the back. It was a kid. <laughs> One of the cooks was actually a kid he beat up a week before. So we went back in the kitchen. He says, listen... At 11? He said... That's what I can't get past. He goes, you, you, you're going to go out there, take the money. You say it was three black guys who did it. No offense. But, uh, hey, yeah. I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> whatever, you're going to say that. But, uh, <laughs> it's mandatory. Yeah, it's a mandatory thing. It's a mandatory. It just sure. comes out. It's in the manual. <laughs> Especially if you live in Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, Blame cool. all crimes on black guys. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, right, Charles Stewart. Charles yeah, Stewart. Yeah, Stewart. Uh, they, I, was they, I was there. They frisked the entire state of Massachusetts. <laughs> Where was you yesterday, nigga? Uh, I was on the moon. No, you wasn't. You killed a white woman. <laughs> I was playing for the Celtics. No, you wasn't, motherfucker. Uh, no, you wasn't. <laughs> just for the rest of the country. What's, oh, shit. Rest of the country. What's the story oh. again? He, she was pregnant. He was a white boy uh, pregnant. He was His wife was pregnant. He yeah. shot her in the head. Right. And then shot himself, like, in his lap or something. And, yeah. And then said a nigga did it from Roxbury. Right. And they raped the entire <laughs> they really, community. They showed it on TV, just black dudes against Oh, for Boston, wall. that and was that's like... And that's when liberal... Star, liberal the white guy started because his brother got guilty. Yeah. He snitched on him and he jumped off a bridge. Mm -hmm. Jumped off the And the COVID. same day he jumped off a bridge, my friend in high school jumped off a bridge. But that didn't make oh, the boy. papers. Oh, white guy's always trying to copy each other. So anyway. He took a cab to the same bridge and he said, uh, right as he's pulling up to the toll, the guy just said, chikunk, and the door didn't shut. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. See what Bobby deals with? Bobby's a he's a bad dude, man. Yeah. He's got rage in his eyes. There's man. too much shit in your life. I try to calm him down. I try angry. to keep him from dying, man. So <laughs> he called me doll eyes. <laughs> he got doll. He does like a like a like a doll eyes. Yeah. Lifeless eyes. Lifeless eyes. Like a doll eyes. Like a doll's eyes. So <laughs> my eyes make a click sound when they blink. <laughs> Who has black eyes? <laughs> Bobby has black eyes. You tip them over backwards yeah, and close. With no pupils, Bobby can see in complete darkness. <laughs> Walk us through the so loving. Walk us through the thing. Yeah, what happened with the crime? <laughs> Pizza joint, you're going to beat up the cook, take the money? We're going to take the money. And uh, what happened was the the two guys let us do it. My f We were both drunk, <clears throat> but my friend went up Drunk at 11. Her. He didn't know how to do the buttons. Yeah. So he, I went up, grabbed, pushed the button, grabbed the money. As we're running out, I tripped on the curb, landed on my pinky finger, brought it all I the way over to my, my pinky, thumb. man. Oh, you should see me, dude. I was fucking like, yeah. My, thumb, my pinky oh. was over here. Yeah? Okay. And uh, it didn't hurt. It just looked fucked up. You know what I mean? It didn't hurt yet. But uh, the place that we actually robbed was uh, owned by the mafia. They have a, a restaurant Holy that people shit. don't go to downstairs. Uh huh. You really don't, there's a pizza place upstairs, but there's a little stairwell. You go down, it's like maybe maybe ten seats, maybe ten tables, and um, a we I was actually in my friend Frankie's house, uh, watching TV, just hanging out, smoking dope, eating some Tyson chicken. The door was no open. Offense. The co <laughs> no offense. The co <laughs> the cops just come up, just came upstairs. The door was open. Came up. Grabbed Frank, you Frankie, grabbed him. I was, it was like a, it was like a Twilight Zone episode. Grabbed him, just took him out, took him away. Oh, and I'm sitting in his house. His mother comes out. Where's my son? And I was like, the cops just came, took him. <laughs> and she was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I don't know. I was fucking stoned. I'm down the park later that night. The guy pulls up to me, the cop. He goes, what's your name? I was like, uh, Robert Kelly. 
He goes, there's a warrant for you. I don't know where. I guess the warrant got lost. I think my mother knew one of the cops, and he kind of hid the fucking thing. But this other dick was like, I'm going back to find it. He goes, and if you're lucky, <clears throat> I'll pick you up because you're an idiot because the people that, the, the pizza store you own, they're looking for you too because they wanted to break my fucking leg. Ah, yeah. This, yeah. Is, a, this is called a Lawrence tale. Oh, is it? <laughs> Chaz Primatary came up and grabbed A Lawrence tale. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be feared or loved, Patricia? <laughs> <laughs> and it's absolutely true. Bobby tells me all these goofy stories, but I can't believe you share them on that's, the radio because it makes crazy. me swear to God not to tell anybody all the time. <laughs> and I know. <laughs> and I can tell everybody. <laughs> why, why, why does I have to keep my big mouth shut? <laughs> you know, just at 11. He was a strong arm robber. <laughs> I told you I would get it out of him. Yeah, but he makes so, you make it sound a lot. Unarmed robbery sound sounds no, 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 no. Nice robbery is. Listen, to you something. I know. I know. I don't like the word strong arm. I've, I've heard about different charges. Right. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, robbery is as bad as you can get. Robbery is you taking something from a person. Armed robbery is bad, but strong arm robbery is almost worse. It's worse. Yeah. Like mayhem is worse than. No, but. Worse than like third degree, like second degree murder, mayhem. The mayhem. Know, the, the mayhem. The chick actually, the chick in the <laughs> pizza store. Worse than murder. Mayhem is when you, when you purposely don't try to kill somebody, you purposely try to maim somebody. Yeah. So you try to remove a limb <coughs> or do something bad so that they don't look the same way anymore. Mm -hmm. That's worse than certain degrees of murder. Of murder. Yeah. Wow. So walk us through it. So now what? You're arrested. So I went back. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, look at old folks. We'll get this. No, they didn't get the story. Though. Couldn't get, get me. He, he says, "I'm going to be. You want to? You want to not go to jail tonight? Get off the streets." I'm an idiot. I went out. Me and my friend got a pint of uh, Irish peppermint schnapps, whatever the fuck it is. And uh, I went down to uh, get some weed. I was tanked. All of a sudden, this cop car pulls up. My mother's in the back seat. It's like in slow mo. Oh, she's no. like, "Come here, motherfucker." <laughs> And I just, I don't know what happened, I just walked into the car, because your mother calls you, there's that little thing, there's something in your head that just goes. And I got in, I went to jail that night, and I was in, that was it, the next day. My mother, my bail was ten bucks. The judge, was my first thing. Ten dollars. They reduced it from ten thousand to ten bucks, and she wouldn't fucking pay it. Isn't it ten percent cash, so for like a buck you get out? <laughs> I, I, she wouldn't pay ten dollars, she wouldn't pay no. nothing. Nope. So you sat in jail. I went to fucking juvie jail. Was Ten dollars, but they wouldn't let you out on, on your own the reconnaissance. First... Huh? Yeah, right. They, like they juvenile. <laughs> no, if my mother didn't want to take me, she said to the, she said to the uh, judge, she goes, if you fucking, if you give him to me, you'll be picking him up in a body bag. Jeez. She was like ruthless. And you so gotta understand, probably. Bobby's mother was still in high school at the time. <laughs> what the hell? Are you I'm doing? sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, Bob. You inadvertently <laughs> called my mother a whore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bobby. So how What's long? wrong with you? <laughs> How long did you have to do? Joke it, Bob. That was good, though. I liked that. It was funny. I know, but I gotta go against it. I can't really <laughs> just laugh at my mother being a whore, a black guy. But, but your mother her. was young, though, right, Bob? Or it was that she was young my when mother, she had you? My mother was 15 when what? she had my sister. She Holy was 18 shit. when she had me. She really was drunk in a bush with a schlitz. A goa. Nice. <laughs> so you did juvie for how long? Uh, I think it was like three and a half. I, uh, you go in for four months. I think it was four or five months in juvie. But you go. You go. And why was it scary? Like, uh, walk us through. I don't. All know right. When you shit. go, you go way out. The, they have this place way out in the woods in Middleton. Okay, it's an old abandoned insane asylum. Okay. I know okay? about this place too. Okay, you yeah, know about it. Real? Yeah. It's real. Middle yeah. of nowhere. You walk in. There's a bunch of. And other, you're 11, right? Yeah. That's what I can't get past, by the way. But go ahead. You you walk in, handcuffs from the court. You just and they have the real prisoners in the back. They have a little bench in the front of the van with a screen, and they're talking to you the whole time. You little bitch, I'd fuck you right in the ass. Oh, oh I get you. Look at your lips. Mm, you got little sweet lips. <clears throat> They're both the same size. I like that, you know. They're talking to you the whole, oh, whole way. Oh, boy. So you get up there, and then uh, they take you out. They put You're in shackles. They take you in. You have to shower like they clean you, Ooh. which is the first time I ever... <laughs> Ooh. I never, I've never. i never been naked with another dude in the room. And I, I didn't even have peach phone. Well, you wasn't even old enough to be a dude yet. Uh, yeah, but I'm next to dudes with fucking like, schlongs and hair. You're like two years removed from right. <clears throat> like being uh, right. pedophiled. Like, <laughs> like, right? Is that what's, what's that? How old are you, gay? And what's the gay and pedophilia? When you grow pubes. 
pubes. Like, is 11 pedophilia? If you, if you, oh, yeah, I would say I so. Think it, I think it's <laughs> all is, exactly. Or is he gay? I think it's all gay think, and all uh, pedophilia. All gay pedophilia. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a line. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, no cut off. You're talking point. about technicalities? Well, I'm, I'm just hey, you know so much about the law. <laughs> I'm just saying to <laughs> you. Dirt I'm ball. saying it's like, <laughs> really? if something had to happen to him, would that have been, you know, is he old enough to have been a dude? Absolutely that not. To a dude. No like, hair. Where you tell the story, it's like, yo, they got me when I was 11. It's like, oh, you fag. Or is it like, oh, jeez, man. Yeah, poor kid. You was pedophile. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what? It would have been pedophile. You're not a fag if they pin you down. <laughs> oh. They hold you down. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Robert. <laughs> so they shower you, and people are taking a look at you. Oh. So, no, you, you shower in Haunting. front of people. Then you have to go into another room with another creepy dude. You know, who wants to help kids, yeah. but you've been single your whole life. You live in a one-bedroom, and you're uh, 42. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you just want to help kids. And then you have to uh, take all your clothes off. You have to bend over, do five jumping jacks. You know, and it's like... Why is that? Because so you might, stuff. Maybe stuff you might fall out. You might yeah. be fall smuggling, out, yeah. yeah, like eight grams of heroin in your yeah. asshole. But I'm 11. Yeah. Check like, I know how to tie a knot that tight. Well, a lot smuggling of people did, though. Pop rocks up his ass. <laughs> well... What they do is yeah, then they put nothing. you into this big... No. That's a kid thing. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> I got pop rocks. <laughs> and then you fucking jumped on that train wreck? <laughs> nice talking to you. Give me one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so then you go into this... They just stick you in a room with a bunch of other kids. Mm -hmm. And you sit there all day. And you wait till 5 or 6 o'clock at night. And then they go, Robert Kelly... And you come over, they handcuff you, shackle you, and then tell you where you're going. <clears throat> and then they take you in the middle of the night to some lockdown facility. But you sc slowly graduate out of shitty, shitty, a little less shitty, to like some place that you can go out and, you know, have picnics in the uh. afternoon. And then you go from there to a foster home. And this was this had to be in in the mid mid to early eighties. So this yeah. was before rights. So you know guards and stuff. You know Bobby was abused. Oh uh, yeah, something. No, happened. I've never. I you know what? I something never. Happened. I was in one place. Yeah, it was this place in Halifax, Mass, way out in the middle of the cranberry field. No, I had this is Halifax now. So uh -huh. I see went from Middleton to Halifax. Yeah, yeah. And the further out now, Halifax. If you're not from Massachusetts, is like never heard of it. Right. It's it's the further you go out in certain places, the the more they do bad things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this place was bad. It was one road into the place. I had a broken mm -hmm. nose when I went in there, and uh, as soon as I got in there, you know, I got my nose broken again. You know, and the it was they, the whole place was run by this little tiny black dude. They called him the Godfather, and uh, all the other I don't know why they all fucking all the other dudes, but they went at it one day. The every white kid was getting it. They uh, was one oh. white kid. He was bouncing the ball. They had like a little tiny rim. Only five. Everybody can dunk it. They used to play New York ball. And this kid was over in the corner just bouncing a ball. And all of a sudden, you just said, yo, homeboy. And the kid turned around like happy, like they were going to ask him to play. Oh, boy. Five no, basketballs just went right into his and face. And you hear Bobby, what Bobby's saying here. <clears throat> people just don't get this. This is what people, uh, I'm really happy you're saying this finally. Yeah. Because two things. One, Bobby played New York basketball with a bunch of black dudes in prison. Now, you know what New York 21 is. It's everybody for himself. So it's like football, yeah. playing basketball. So he played that with them. Yeah, I got an elbow in the face. Secondly, this is to these comedians out here, right, that feel protected because we're all comedy people. Bobby is really like a second from, like, killing somebody. <laughs> And I know this because I get that too. Like, like a lot of these little skinny, like Greg Rogel. You know Greg Rogel? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Little scrawny Jew kid. Yeah. He walks around like with this fire. Everybody's like, oh, he's such a fiery who? It's like, do you know I'll squeeze your face off? Do you understand? <laughs> but, but the fact is that we're in the same business. So I can't. What's protecting him from right. getting, you know, is the fact that we're in this business. Mm -hmm. So it's just like people think that oh, Bob's just a lot of. I know Bobby for years. And we didn't like each other when we first met. Cause we were I both like that. You. No, you didn't. Jesus we were both. Christ. We were both like these alpha male dudes. And I found out by Bobby's is really this dude, man. And he keeps keeps from. I mean, I have to walk him through life a lot, every day. I have to walk him through like not killing somebody, not doing something. You know, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's just like, you know, I, and I know this. This is, this is, you know, Bobby got a lot of rage. You tell him I was smoking dudes. a cigarette that I wasn't blowing you? Oh, not, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm not going to know what that sound effect was. <laughs> but if, if you know Bobby, you know, he's chain smoking. Dude, yeah. this is, he's a real, you know, he's, he's a, real, a real case that comedy is saving lives. For real. I'm, you know what, dude? I'm, dude. uh, I'm fucking, I'm happy. I know, because you so, know me. So then you went into foster homes? What, your I'd parents? like to be able to tell you that Bob Kelly was able to hold off those boys. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not real life. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters got him. <laughs> Any man would give into a, a phone book and a baseball bat to in, the back. In Halifax, Bobby was here. Just sing him. <laughs> Piss break balls. <laughs> Tell us the story of how you got your buddy's beers for uh, doing the roof work. <laughs> <laughs> doing the taxes. By the way, to interrupt real fast, uh, Peter Brady and his lovely, lovely young girlfriend, the pictures are now up on opianthony.com to check out. And you can check out what she was wearing, which was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, uh, so then your parents gave up on you? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they were like... After you got arrested at 11, they just said, that's it. They went, in, they went, my mother went in, all of my friends got bailed out. My mother went into the judge's chambers with me, took all my paraphernalia, my pot, my bongs, everything that I had hidden, put it on the desk. She went, what do I do? He said, let him go. Just let him, let him go through the system. Oh. And there you go. And that's what she did. She just said, fuck it. Yeah, I hope you? you didn't put it like that when you were sitting there. Did what did we you? do? Let him go. <clears throat> oh, I'm going? But then no, you... no, through the system. And then you finally get out. Aren't you assuming you're going to go back uh, with your parents? Mm. I didn't want to go. No, I thought. No, the first, first of all, I'll tell you why. The first foster home I went to was in Lynn. It was at this older couple. They smoked weed, okay? Uh, and the next door neighbor, their friends, the lady, used to fucking fuck with me. Really? And her her boyfriend used to get me high, so he'd take me out to get high and say, "Don't tell my girl." That was she'd take me over there. there. Lynn was the white girl. Lynn blow yeah. me. Was, yeah. And so you know, and then I'd hang out with my parents and smoke butts and uh, get stoned. And they love wrestling. They were in the, the, the WWF back then, so it was like it was unbelievable. You fucked up. Are you telling me comedy doesn't help heal uh, lives? Imagine if Bobby's just a regular square walking around, Do you working a nine to five, not being able to talk about this and be funny. About Cubicle, it. but mo most of them suck. Though. Instruction. Like you go, you, he'd be a guy that just comes on the job fuck. site and kills like three people. Yeah. You can yeah, see yeah. it on the news. So you, uh, you, <laughs> you, you still talk to your mom? I oh, yeah, me and my mom are friends now. Just friends, though. Like, there's no, like... Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I have a, I'm have back with my family now. i got a big Irish Catholic family. What happened was... is When did you finally get back? It seems like it took many, many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably when I was, Jesus. like, 20. Look how uncomfortable you're fucking making him. But you, but well, you know what? As, yeah. you, as you get older, Anthony, though, you, you start to... Because I thought I was abused growing up by my mother. I thought, you know, my mother was 21 when she had me, you know? Uh -huh. So she's a kid. I, I, like, when I talk to 21-year-olds, I'm like, <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> young, delicious, you know. Imagine that trying to raise you. So I'm, I'm by herself. So you realize when you get older, you you that do. That went without yeah. saying, by the way. You, you, oh, Jesus, you, you, you do. Captain Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. do. You do. Perfectly clear. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. by herself. Yeah. 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 Really, Ooh. really prolific. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. oh Jesus. Is that in your uh, well, dear Patrice? There's, there's a possibility that my father could have been around. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 There was a slight chance I had a dad. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Just saying, and then we'd get, be calling the Guinness Book of World Records saying we found one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no I, offense. It's a possibility. <laughs> sure it is. Sure, sure it is. Gee, right. Give me a <laughs> break. <laughs> okay. I'm not trying to be redundant here. Let the guy some slack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying, 30, after you turn 30, you realize that, that you don't blame your parents for what they did. You realize, you know what I mean? So I'm sure you got, I bet you at 25, you loved his mom. Yeah. How old oh, yeah. was your mom when you were doing this jail stuff? 16, oh, 17. Well, yeah. She was like 29. She was 11, so. 29, yeah, right? she was a young, yeah. She All right, young. so still in her 20s, maybe late 20s. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no bullshit to have to deal with. Young, no, she young was, and You know what? I, I would go down to, oh. and my, yeah. this is before I started getting into trouble. I'd be like, Ma, I need help with my homework. She'd open the book for two seconds, and she'd be like, I fucking hated this shit. I don't mm -hmm. know. Go ask your sister. And you used to look yeah. at it like mommy. But they're oh, young. Yeah. When I talk to a 25-year-old, I'm like, you're going to get it. <laughs> Delicious. Mama, I, I, she come was a on, mommy. Come on. Yeah. You know what I mean? 30. I'm 35. 30 years old is like, mm, you have a banging chick? I got this one. You have a banging chick with a kid? That's all my girls got kids. 
I don't know a girl without a kid. What? <laughs> Again? Why the fuck are you she, even Because she has to go. She, <laughs> so, she has to get up and leave. <laughs> she's got to go. She's got to go oh, wake her, take funny. her kid to school. <laughs> well, just... Finishing oh. up, finishing up though. So then it was uh, juvie, foster homes, and then on your own at eighteen. I'm assuming then, right? And then actually, you were free? actually, I went, I went back to my, uh, the last time I went back to my parents' house. I had to leave because I couldn't deal. Moved in with a f- one foster father, till I was uh, legally able to move out. And as soon as I was, I moved into a house with. Uh, with uh, six retards. And, and here's oh, w- where I'm getting. How did you find comedy through all this? Go through know. that. Through that, you had to dude. be funny being, yeah. being raped. You, what was the last time you saw a happy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was a happy family dude that no, has money and I lives in Connecticut that went, I, I want a fucked up thing. That not happened, all. But not I'm all. going to go into comedy. The not ones all. that have any, like, you know, some yeah. power to their comedy. Yeah, sort of it was only, uh, it was only, yeah, I mean, you know. 99% of comics. You I tell you what, in, in juvie jail, though. in juvie jail, yeah. the thing that got me through, honestly, like I remember the day uh, all these black kids came into my room and they all surrounded me and they, but they, they ghosted me. They were ignoring me. Like they sat right on my bed. Two of them up here when I was just lying there like this and they were ghosting me, like talking about white dudes and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and I was just sitting there reading my little fucking whatever book. <laughs> yeah, right? And I go, uh, they go, yo, they said something about homeboys or white boys. They go, you a homeboy, you a white boy. And I said something like, I'm a, I'm a homeboy, sir. Some shit. Just oh, kidding. No. <laughs> and there was silence for like a fucking second. Like, I fucked up. And they went, ah, oh, man, you a funny motherfucker. And I was there fine. You go. And that, that's where I learned how to be funny, man. But Bobby, but see, yeah. listen, this is the thing we talk about. Another thing, Bob. <laughs> oh, shit. Secrets. Can we have some of your secrets today? I got a lot of secrets that, I, one. that everybody knows. Yeah. Like one. Dude, we had a great segment with him. Are you joking me, man? I know, right? You're right. <laughs> you know I share all my <laughs> problems. Last dildos and everything. We, <laughs> we got deep with him, man. Yeah, I'm You walked away going, yeah, there is really something wrong with me. <laughs> There's a problem. We got into his head one time Dr. on this dildo. show. We want Bob to talk about this. <laughs> Thank you, Obi, for letting him do this. Because he wants to talk about cheese and, um, and uh, slinkies on stage. And... Because he's too scared to open up. You don't think it's be funny. I talk about this that shit genius. now. I, no I talk idea. about fat stuff. I thought that was, I I thought it was about, really interesting. It's I genius. didn't mean to throw you on. Genius. You know. I ta- <laughs> Marshmallow yell you. All right, we're going to take a break. <laughs> we got to take a break. It's been a while. Jesus Let's take a break. Christ. Anthony, we got the Laszlo uh, Steve thing they, they put together for our first anniversary. Very here at XM good Saturday job. Radio. You didn't congratulate us. Oh, it has been a year. Ha- I told you. That's right. God bless you. We made a year. No one thought we'd make a year. We made a year. Yes, we did think you was going to make it. Are you still mad? Um, Opie is a he no, no, really no. is John Wayne. Oh, this. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm a different person. I'm not. Are mad. you really? Yeah, I remember the first mad. time I came up here, it was just like you mother. Oh, we were very oh, yeah. bitches. Patrice, we were really bitter because I mean, and we listened to the audio recently. We ah, whatever. It's, it's that's right. Nice. But I'm but glad we man. never got. I told got the He's got the chick. He's got the cash. He's got a restaurant now. He's, I bought uh, a restaurant. What? <laughs> yeah. He bought a restaurant in Boston. He's a restauranteer. I go out to eat a lot, a so I figure I knew something about the restaurant. Business. Italian? We don't know. He doesn't yet. know. Yet. He doesn't know. Oh, no, my brother's figuring it all out. No, no, we got a couple weeks. Where is it? Huntington. Damn. In Huntington. What are you investing your money in, other white guy? The bank. I just bank it. That's right. That's what I do. Occasionally, I take a little out and invest in Atlantic City, Mohegan, Vegas. You have a, you have a house, though, right? But, no, uh, we don't have houses No, I'm looking. Yet. You didn't buy a house? I'm looking. I can't find one. Uh, mint plus, plus, plus condition. You walk in, and it's like, yeah, maybe 1976. You, know, you got a girl again? Yeah. She's in the office right now. You too? Oh, you still with? with yeah. Still yeah. with the same girl. Same thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. People, wow. And people get mad. They call up every day. Oh, you're not as angry anymore. Well... <laughs> well, you get a little. There's nothing to be little, angry about right now. Give me a break. Yeah, I, mean, I just had know. to write my angry check last night, but <laughs> that's an angry that's, check. That's my angry but check that I have to write to the same girl every you, uh, three say? months. The gr- are your ex-wife? Are your fans oh, getting yeah. older now? You guys, you know, your fans are 35 now. Yes, right? they're all with pipes and <laughs> no, <they're> reading <laughs> the Wall saying, Street but Journal. How old are your fans now? Yeah. I mean, we know the, the uh, psychos, but we got about 22,000 fans now. <laughs> said 22,000, 22,346 fans. Yeah. We know each one. Now this personally. thing is blo- It really is just blowing up. It's it's getting uh, pretty cool. I thought it was like 600,000. Um, probably more than that. I yeah. saw 3.7 million outside sitting outside. Well, no, that's up to five. 
Oh, jeez. That's an old sign. We got to, like, the McDonald's thing. We got to change that number. Wow, the old stripper gave me bad numbers. No, XM is up to 5 million subscribers. <laughs> yeah. And then they made a huge deal with DirecTV, so things are Old just stripper? <laughs> what did you call it? Oh, oh, okay. Per, uh, thanks, Ben. Patrice, love advice. If, if you leave without us getting into this column that you... Uh, oh, man, was that good. Yeah, we'll do that next. Sandy Kane is driving everyone crazy. Do you want her in? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure out the Sandy K mess, and we, and we, and we got to talk. We got to do the Donald Sutherland audio before we get out. Oh, we got I that can't audio. see him I, crying. Yeah, <laughs> we think this show is so Kane. stupid. We do four hours every day, right? Three and a half hours, we just BS our our brains away, and then the last half hour, we try to we squeeze try to in get real the stuff radio. we wrote down as show prep. <laughs> But uh, Laszlo and Steve put this together for our first anniversary. Mm -hmm. It's really, really Master cool. Master Poe or something like that as part of the auction we did for the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Really? Once again, I want to thank all the fans. We raised well over $50,000 in the end. That's pretty damn cool. We're oh. going to have to get like a graphic up on opianthony.com or something. Three. And the Peter Brady pictures with his really hot piece of ass young girlfriend are up on the website as well. Can yes, I just say Patrice? thank you for the Liberator? Oh. Mm. Appreciate the liberator. You got a oh. liberator? Thank, thank you for the liberator. Oh, wow. <laughs> what's, nice. What's and a liberator? I have no room for it. I'm going to put it in the kitchen. That's what you have sex on. Wait, Have's you're like taking one home or you got one? It's like a little one, couch thing. One, home, one shaped like a wedge. One shaped There's like a, a liberator pillow. right there. It's, it's yeah. a couch made for sex positions. Just for yes, sex. Yes, yes, yes. They yes. started with a cute little cheese wedge, and now they're getting out of hand with these designs, actually. Oh, great. Oh, we're going to have fun. We are going You're really going to bring uh bring one home? Yeah, you're a perv, though. Do you have a swing? I have a swing. I'm, you did yeah. tell us you have some kind of sex swing, right? Yeah. You have a sex swing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How many pounds of pressure does it hold? I had to buy, I had to buy a... Um, a hydraulic well, swing? I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't get any pumpkin. I don't get any pumpkin. <laughs> he called me He's pumpkin. using the same shit they use on the Verrazano Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't get, I don't get in it. <laughs> He's going to turn it on. But it holds 300 oil pounds. It holds gas. 300 pounds. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sounds like the end of the Terminator. Got to keep my sex life going, man. You know, I got to go until I can't go no more, dude. I know. What, do you just get bored it? with the same old thing and you got to, like, well, think up my, some new I, shit? I, I, my girl is getting to be, like, I have, uh, the best thing is, like, my girl's a hoe, but she was not, I'm creative, uh -huh. and she's a hoe, and I've just constantly been bringing new shit to the and, table, and right. And now she's insatiable, which is wow. why I have to swing now. And not Ooh, to swing in my house. I have, to, I have to go and get her extra. What do you do with the swing? I don't get it. She sits she in sits it. She sits in it, and it, it is just it exposes the entire yeah, okay. area. And then no, you I get, get under it. You could spin her around, oh, right? It's delicious. Does it have like a bungee cord, Lisa? <laughs> they have a bungee cord one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know. Where do you, where do you put it? You, it? Does it go hang from In the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Not his penis, Opie. I know that. Wah, wah. <laughs> In the fucking... Uh, it's, it's pretty despicable, man, but, you know. I don't like anything, like, you talk about the bungee thing, or I don't like anything but me controlling the in-out kind of motion, because I've seen too many pornos where the chick is going wild on the guy and... <laughs> The dick bends. Yeah. You ever see the dick bend? You can break it. Looks dick. like you're kinking a hose for a split second. Yeah, but now it has a curve in it. You gotta, you, you, you got to, Anthony. To the left. You know, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> no. you gotta step up the filth, man. You gotta be a piece of crap. Yeah, but the the, the bungee thing like that, taking control of the in out, that could uh, say injure you. Mm. You can like break, you can break your dick. Yeah, and, uh, really. You're you clear can, of that. You can actually really break your dick. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, and it won't fill up. Really? Honest to God, I've, I, I've read Dude, about we it. we all know you can break your dick. You could oh, snap it. Right. <laughs> I really am talking like I'm, uh, <laughs> like I'm breaking news yeah, right we, now. We own them. <laughs> you know? Bob is reformed. Bob is reformed. He, I'm, I think I'm the only one left. The only piece of uh, filth left. No, Norton. He's, Norton's a piece hey, of shit. Yeah, but speaking you know, of yeah. filth, uh, <laughs> Patrice had a Dear Patrice column. I love this. <laughs> what magazine is this? Uh, the Comical, I think. But it, but he, but the Comical.com. For, com. for some reason, people have been... Uh, People have been seeing it in other papers and stuff. Oh. So this is a regular feature you're doing? Yeah. It looks like it because you could write to <clears throat> Patrice, dear Patrice, at thecomical.com. The first question, dear Patrice, I'm a 23-year-old girl dating a 59-year-old man. We, do, we get along uh, really well, and the relationship is very strong. I've dated other guys, but he's the best boyfriend I've ever had. The best thing is that because of his age, he doesn't play games. If the relationship is so strong, why am I embarrassed to tell my friends and family? You want to read the Patrice part, Anthony? I love this, man. Because you're a gold-digging piece of shit. <laughs> but I love you for that. I like how you gave her her props. 
<laughs> I'm a nude. <laughs> <laughs> I always I tell say women. She's a gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell women while you're young and pretty, get rid of uh, your dignity while you still have it. <laughs> Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> 50-year-old women uh, have to have dignity. It's forced upon them. When you're 23 years old, uh, hot, you can fuck a 59-year-old man and get some money for it. Show something for the pussy that people want. That's it, 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 you're, you're, Now, people would read this and think, you know, oh, that's harsh. Well, that's... no, it's like uh, I don't understand why women don't make millions off their pussy and then, like... Do the college and the I'm a better myself thing when no one wants to fuck them. Right. Do it But while. then you want to fuck and no one wants you and now you want to all the time. You, oh, give me. And you go, ah, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Why don't you go to college? <laughs> do what you can do. Be a kept woman. <laughs> I think you can tell yourself that. anything, but let's be honest, you're a hoe. <laughs> You can tell yourself anything. You can be like, oh, I love him. Like Peter Brady's girl. It's like he's the poopy too. It's the da -da. But it's like, you know what? You're enamored with his Peter Bradyness. Be honest, ho. You are what you are. Stop looking to be absolved. Accept what you're doing. You don't have anything to keep pretending uh, you like his wrinkled balls <laughs> on the top of your forehead. Stop telling yourself you're doing it for all the other horse shit. Um, you know, meaning, you know. Right. Like, yeah. Now you're 35 fucking a 70-year-old man, and it's like you don't want to do that. <laughs> Just be who you are. Be proud of it. If I were a 23-year-old woman, I'd fuck anything that moved and get some money. Go to school when you're 30 or 40. Do terrible things when you're uh, young and can do them. <laughs> that is... I'd love to see this girl's face as she read this advice. Right, her reply. <laughs> I'm glad they have a picture of you next to it so she can just put it together. Oh, the, the picture's there so you don't mistake it. look at that dumb it. picture, too. Yeah. Like, it says it all. Like, yeah. That's so you don't mistake it for Dear Abby. They put yeah. the picture there. Yeah, we're going to put this, this fucking big fucking ass, this black ass. Then what's who's, up? Who's basically, his advice is, you know what? Be a prostitute. Yeah. Make some money. And if you yeah. need a pimp, call me. And then, then uh, fill out the college <laughs> applications. Yeah. Ben, Sandy, Sandy Kane is. We've received complaints from other people in the offices. She's been in our office bothering us. And now why can't Poe, she just sit the fuck down and shut up? Poe's had it with her. He's ready to throw her out. So do we you want, want her in? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? All right, bring her in. Drag her in as for we, a couple uh, of minutes. As we read the next uh, her problem Patrice is. letter. Sandy? Here's the next one. I've been going out with this girl for four years, and we still haven't had sex. I bring it up every once in a while, but she says we aren't ready yet. I don't want to force her, but I feel for four years is more than long enough. What should I do? Mm. Patrice writes, that's the thing. Women always wonder what ready is. You know what she's really saying? She's saying you're not really that good looking. Because what women do, women do is they barter their vaginas with our time. A woman it's a looks trade-off, right? A woman it's looks a, at me and thinks, yeah. okay, he's handsome, but my pussy is worth about three months of his time, <laughs> energy, and money. If a guy's handsome enough, she'd give it up right away because his time is considered way more important than her pussy. So your problem is that she's not sure how long to barter her pussy with your time, especially if she's not a virgin. If she's not a virgin, it's like, what? You <laughs> fucked a guy under the stairwell or the bleachers, but now you're wondering if it's the right time for me. I hate a bitch that makes me wait if she don't make anybody else wait. I don't want to wait any longer than any other dude. Then they go... Well, that was a mistake. Well, you better make another mistake. Get it right on the next motherfucker, not me. <laughs> That's good. You don't want to have to wait longer than any other guy she's been with. Hey. Instead of Dear Patrice, this should be Dear Creep. Actually, Steve wants to rename the column. Steve Bayshore, go ahead. Hey, how you guys doing this hey, morning? Man. Hey. Uh, you should rename the column Dear Apey. <laughs> Good. Oh, Jesus. Good, what? good one, you trying to come out the closet and edgy fag. Look, hey, hey, what? Wait, wait, listen, he goes, dear AP, like it was edgy. You're an ass. I've yeah. been called worse by my mother, you jackass. <laughs> Go punch your clock, stupid. <laughs> Probably snuck outside to have a Coke and they, AP, good one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrice. I didn't know he was going to say ah, that. Ah, yes, you did. <laughs> it, said, it said, dear AP on the thing. <laughs> That's what it said. <laughs> Is phone call. Don't give away all of it. Why don't you hit the phone screen? Hit the other one. Phone call. AP, it came in the first. Why don't you hit orangutan and silverback gorilla, too? That's why I like Bill Burry. He doesn't give away all our secrets. I know. That phone call was, the subject was, wants to call him AP. What the fuck? Come on. 
And then my job is to go, oh, wow. And this guy's like, <laughs> the guy's on the phone going, jeez, I told him what I was going to oh. say. <laughs> yeah, we lambast him. <laughs> oh man we do that for real sometimes oh. and actually I was joking about it I didn't know but there are times we'll have a guest and we'll be like wow I, I, it said he was wanting to talk about Bush I, you know we, <laughs> oh, I, I didn't think it was your mother's Bush <laughs> I called dear uh, <laughs> Calissa wants to call Patrice A.P. <laughs> Patrice <laughs> So Sorry, we're protecting oh, you. Oh, they are awful, <laughs> right. awful people. Hey, Sandy And I'm Kane. on the radio. Hi, O.P., how you doing? Oh, Jesus. Hey. What's up, Sandy Hi, A.P. Hey, Sandy. Jesus. <laughs> there's, um... There's, <laughs> uh, Jesus. I know. I'm just, yeah, it's all right. it's I, I think it's a very good name uh, for you, Patrice. Shut up. The French. Shut up. You know, you look more like an A.P. than a Patrice. Yes, I know. Were you Irish? Betty Boop's grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called Betty Boop. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, cool. This bitch did silent porno. <laughs> 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 It used to click when she was... <laughs> Same camera they shot Nesferatu on. <laughs> that's, how she, that's how she came up there. Yeah. So. <laughs> see her shadow walking on the wall with the big long nails? Didn't I see you at Weight Watchers? Oh, sh- Didn't okay, I see you at Weight Watchers? Enough man? of you, William Defoe. Have, a, have another pizza. William Defoe, the wig. Have another pizza. Have another pizza, man. Have another slice. You're not going to go toe to toe with Patrice. No, I mean, all I know is. Oh, you're right now. Oh, wait, John, I'm stupid. I took a picture and it took off the whole camera. <laughs> you are out of your mind. You're half. You're going to be half oh, off the picture. Oh, God. Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? Yeah, don't go toe to toe. Yeah, leave it alone. I'm not toe to toe. I mean. Bond! Bond! His toe weighs more than my whole body. Sandy should be running for some gooks and, a, and <laughs> they should be playing a dodge up with a string as a helicopter flies <laughs> <laughs> and she takes a wig off. You can't see me. <laughs> well, well, I bet you have no hair on your head too. I bet he's bald. You can't see my wig. I bet he's bald under that cap. Charlie Sheen. Why don't you take your hat off? I bet you're bald. We gotta go back and get her. We gotta go back and get her. Charlie! <laughs> Charlie! No! Oh. Eh, eh. oh my God! Did, did I see your Weight Watchers? This oh. <laughs> poor lady. I'm like, why am I doing that to this woman? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just sick. Saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, if you get your own show, it'll be you'll, you'll need two televisions to watch it. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Wow. That was a good one. Reli- religious <laughs> man, you. Oh, oh don't do it, Sandy. No, no, I'm just saying. Oh, Betty Droop. Oh, my <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Shouldn't you be somewhere with your feet curled up under a house? <laughs> <laughs> You are a house. You are a house. Oh, it's maybe you thought I was a flying ape. Ah, my no. pretty. Ah. He's wearing yellow. I thought he was a school bus. Ah. What are you, a school bus or what? I want my slippers. What do you eat for supper, man? Oh. Ten pizzas? Oh. What do you eat, baby? Oh, God what do you eat, her. school buses? God oh, bless her. Thing, man. I'm telling God bless you. Uh-huh. I, mean, I need, I need oh. to be blessed. Oh, shit. Need some, what do you eat, school buses? Oh, oh man. <laughs> first time. Come on. Oh, I know, I like God. that one. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Christ. What do you eat? Oh, okay. Uh, again. <laughs> you don't have your blonde uh, little fucking Jean-Benet Ramsey wig on. No, hey, I just changed. Nothing yeah. stays the same but change. Anthony, Anthony. I hear you. All right, got to change. That's good. Your, uh, what is that, and red? And I shaved my uh, bush, but I'm not oh. going to show it today. You shaved it? Yeah. yeah. How did you get around Twato? I did, I did. Yeah, you I, circumnavigated uh, against uh, that yeah, big exactly. fucking vaginal yeah. warden. No, <laughs> oh, no, I waxed it. I, I did did you wax it? Have bikini wax. Have you seen it? Have you I, seen it, Patrice? I, not, no, I'm not oh. showing it. No. Have you seen it, Patrice? <laughs> when I waxed, Dude, it looks like, they, a, a, it looks like oh, a, an earlobe. <clears throat> they waxed it off. What are you doing? She waxed I'm... her bush, and now people could use it as a C. Everett Coop costume. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now I got like a shaved bush. Oh, you know? you get the Asian guy in to say hi. Real I got fast? A, new, a new black boyfriend. Oh, oh yeah, very uh, small dick too. I mean, oh, I'm yeah? amazed. Usually uh, black men have big dicks. Mm-hmm. Do you oh, have a big one? Then? Not really. Okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, shit. Uh, Probably okay, as big as that wart. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. Oh. Hey, who do we got in the studio? Another guest. What's your name, sir? Uh, Will. Will. Yes. And you are here for what? Uh, I. 
fish on the auction. <laughs> this fucking guy's eyes, is, he has the biggest eyes I've ever seen for an Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> they opened them up pretty wide. Patrice, throw all those pens on the ground and see if you can count them real quick. <laughs> 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 and, and you won you won the auction for what? Uh, uh, I bid on the that. Matt Hardy uh, action figure. Matt <laughs> Hardy action figure. Yes. I'm not Bob Kelly. Don't hold my hand. Uh, oh, yes. Was he oh, gay or something? Mind. Were you gay, but <laughs> I'm just trying to help him out. He's a just like Asian. I also bid on the Master Poe lessons. Master Poe lessons. Now yeah. then he's going to teach you some uh, kirate, something like if that. I may say it like that. Some taekwondo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, do you know any, or is this like you're no. just going to be a beginner? Pretty much a beginner. You get your ass kicked a lot is why you want to learn a little self-defense? Well, they, they try to, but... They try to, but what stops them? Well, I I heard them. What the hell? You do? You yeah. fight back? Yeah. That's I, I have no real skill in it, but I do. Do you just got to see oh, sometimes... Oh, wow. Oh, damn it. Sometimes Running Asian guys just got to take that <laughs> stance, and they scare the shit out of you. Well, thanks for spending all the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, Sandy, I heard you were driving everybody I, fucking crazy no, I, out there because you I wouldn't sit down. I blew him in the bathroom. I blew him in the bathroom, no, that Asian yeah. guy. No, you didn't. And he had a very small dick. Oh. Jesus Christ. You have nothing. <clears throat> Betty Droop. Yeah. Let's say hi to Will. Betty Droop. Betty Droop. <laughs> Betty Droop. Is <laughs> she was no, annoying just, everybody I out there. I have a friend here. I wanted to bring him on the show. His name is Scotty the Blue Bunny. All right, we oh, can uh, book him. Yeah, Jesus we, Christ, that guy looks like a fat, psychopathic <laughs> faggot. This is my this is my second foster dad. Why does he look like Fezzy? Yeah. Does he look like Fezzy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a little Fez to him. Can, can I bring him on? Yeah, bring him on when? Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, come on back tomorrow with uh, what is his name? Scotty the Blue Bunny. Yeah, and what does he do? We haven't been able to spend any time he, with him. No, he, he the sings, witch from Beastmaster. <laughs> <laughs> He sings Inka Dinka Do. I know that walk is supposed to be on my nose. No, Inka Dinka Do. He's really, really. He, he works burlesque rooms all oh, over the city. Oh, right, yo. Uh, Wheel in New oh. Jersey, what did you learn on the show today? I learned that you're not a fag if they pin you down. <laughs> not a fag if they pin you down. Very good. Let's say hi to Prozac. Prozac, what you got? Ah, I learned Peter Brady's chick is built like a heroin needle with a coin slot pussy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kelly is a fat chink who is also a nigger cook. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Patrice, you nice want to come back? What's your schedule like this week? I have no schedule. Just... All right, come on Yeah, back. pop in any time, man. Absolutely. Can I plug something? Yeah. Fuck yeah. My special? Oh, yeah. It's Friday. HBO special? Yeah. It's this Friday. Friday. <coughs> wow. Chris O'Neill on HBO yeah. this Friday. Very well, good. That's oh, hot. That's hot. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Very good. And Robert Kelly, thanks. We'll see you tomorrow, I guess. See you tomorrow, man. And, hey, and maybe Patrice and Sandy, what do you want to say okay, as we uh, end the show?